Hello and welcome. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing like a, I want to do a little update on Hopper. So this is going to be a shorter video, just all about Hop. Um, so if you saw my video from a few weeks ago, Hopper uh, had surgery because she had an abscess or two abscesses that had stacked on top of each other and grown into the uterine, or not uterine, sorry, vaginal wall. And the thing with abscesses that have to be surgically uh, taken care of is a lot of the time they come back. Like, I, honestly, more often than not, they come back. And Hopper's is coming back. It's not in the exact same spot before. It was slightly above her urethra. And right now, it is, like, right up against the vulva and or the vagina. And she's doing fine. It's bigger, for sure. It popped up out of nowhere. It's bigger. It's a little bit frustrating, obviously, because I did spend a ton of money to get it removed, but I knew this was gonna, I knew this was a possibility of happening, so I'm not even necessarily surprised. They even put her on a 30-day course of antibiotics, which she's still on. She's gonna be on that for another two and a half weeks, um, as of this recording at any rate, but I decided to go ahead and get her another appointment. I'm hoping it's not gonna be another surgery. I'm really, really hoping not, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so I got her another appointment for Tuesday, which is today's Thursday. Uh, what is today? April 20th. It's Thursday, April 20th right now, um, as I'm recording this anyway. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the site a little bit later. She's really sick of me picking her up and checking her over, so I'm just going to give her a little bit of a break from that for the time being. But uh, before, probably tomorrow morning, when she's out for free room, hi baby, uh, I'll pop her out and uh, show you the area, kind of see what I'm talking about. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get her taken care of this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fitz. Uh, yeah, I have the boys out right now. Uh, they don't like me talking. And this is a video about Hopper, but there's a boy here, so... You're so cute. You're so cute. Look at that handsome lad. But anyway, yeah, I'll update you in a little bit. As promised, I'm going to show you the abscess that Hoffer has. Okay. She does not. She's really sick of me holding her up, so this is going to have to go quickly. But it's right here. Uh, it feels like the center feels hard, but the outside feels soft, so I don't know. Talking about her patchy tummy fur. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't grown her fur back from the from the what, surgery. What, why is it like that? <laughs> and uh, she has a, a, some sutures sticking out of her uh, little urethra nub. Okay. Which I'm really hoping the vet can take care of because it's bothering me. <laughs> it's bothering me so much. But here she is. She's otherwise fine. She's eating, drinking, peeing, all the good stuff. Food. She's so sick of me holding her. She's like so sick of me. Hold on, I just want to see how I'm Hi, honey. My little baby. Alright, I'm going to put you back in so you can get away from me. Hi, bud. Just put your ass in there. <laughs> She's like, where's the food? <gasps> Alright, so, see you next clip. <laughs> so, uh, an unexpected end to this video, which is something you're going to hear again next week. But, hi baby. Hi. Uh, so before I could get Hopper to the vet, her abscess actually drained on its own from the outside, which is good. That was my biggest concern, is that it would stay locked inside her body. But it did drain from the outside. Uh, so she's got a little wound on her tummy right now, which... I'm not going to show because it's a little, uh, it's not like a scab right now, so it looks a little gnarly, so I don't want to traumatize you guys, but she's got another week and a half on antibiotics, uh, and if she gets another abscess in that time, I will take her back to the vet. Uh, I did not end up taking her to the vet this time because there's, like, there's nothing they can do, like, already drained, but yeah, so she's doing okay now. I'll do another update, probably on Instagram or something, but yeah, I think 
hopefully that's the end of it and we're all good now and I won't have another surgery I have to do with her. Because mom is tired. <laughs> she's also sick of me. She's so sick of me. She's like, you are so mean to me. You mess with me all the time. Uh, and this is my uh, the Aspen, but I'm just using it for free roam just to get rid of it. So they're not going to be living on it. And I don't think it'll cause the same issues that it did inside the cage. Since once I removed it from the cage, a lot of the issues I <laughs> hex did cease. So I, other than her secondary abscess, I haven't had another abscess in any of my rats since I stopped using Aspen inside the cage. It's specifically the full cheeks Aspen that I think caused this, but you know. Little hopper footage, little hopper action. I don't think she's going to poke her head back out because she's worried I'm going to check on her again. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one and kind of a weird one considering how, oh my god, look at your face, how it ended. I love you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. All the fun stuff down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.